Hi, everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Erin. I'm Chickling. All right. Well, we're talking about festival today. One kind of festival in particular, but let's talk about some festivals that we've been to before. Can you tell me about one that you've been to? I've been to Lantern Festival in、oh, Gaosheng. Have、yeah. you ever been to? That yeah, kind of you、festival? know what? I used to live in Gaosheng. Oh, really? Right next to the Love River. Yes,、yeah, so and it was held right there. Yeah, and so every year my neighborhood would be filled with people、mm-hmm. and bad traffic、oh, and、wow. beautiful lanterns.、Mm-hmm. So、mm-hmm. did you go there? Uh, yeah,、time. it was hard not to. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, but it was packed actually every day. Yeah, yeah. And some days, like they would close down the roads because maybe on like the the traditional night of Lantern Festival,、mm-hmm. it would be so busy, and I would have to show my ID to say, "Oh, I oh. live here. I need to drive here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay." But、um, yeah, that's、um, always an interesting festival.、Mm-hmm. I've been to lots of festivals. Of course, in Canada on July first, we always have a a Canada Day celebration,、mm-hmm. and there will be festivals kind of all over the country、okay. with fireworks and fun events for、mm-hmm. Canada.、Um, but yeah, lots lots of festivals all over the world. Okay. Today's festival is a fringe festival, and we're going to find out what that means and what you can see at it. So let's get to that now. Reading. Join the fun at fringe festivals. Dancers perform in the streets, and you feel amazed as you watch them from the crowd that has gathered nearby. A man juggles balls of fire, and a singer's beautiful song can be heard. These acts are all part of an exciting fringe festival. Today, these special arts festivals take place all over the world. The first fringe festival was held in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1947. That year. H Theater companies showed up uninvited to the Edinburgh International Festival. However, because the companies weren't part of the official program, they were turned away. Therefore, they decided to perform near the formal venue independently. Year after year, more small companies joined them. Until the Edinburgh Fringe Society was formed in 1958. Since then, fringe festivals have only become more and more popular. They usually include all sorts of shows, ranging from poetry readings to short plays. Such events usually have three things in common: they're cutting edge, cheap to visit, and easily accessible to the public. Okay. Today's article starts out by saying, "Dancers perform in the streets, and you feel amazed as you watch them from the crowd that has gathered." So, what's happening here is we're kind of explaining different things. Or one thing that you might see at a festival. So we do this by saying that dancers are performing in the streets. Now, perform is a verb, and when you perform, you do something to entertain people. Now, performers can do many different kinds of things, such as act, sing, dance, do magic, all different things like that. For example, we could say Rita hired a magician to perform some tricks at her son. Birthday party. Okay, so perform 这个字就是有表演的意思哦。在我们的文章里面有说到 dancers perform in the streets， 就是代表舞者在街上表演。所以 perform 呢 is a verb. So when you add a n c e to the end of the word, you'll become a noun, which is performance. So we'll just take a look at a sentence here. George does not like to perform in front of others. 就是 George 不喜欢在人面前表演。除了表演的意思呢，我们还有执行啊，或者完成一件事情的意思。For example, perform a difficult operation, 进行艰难的手术 
Okay, so we'll move on to the next word, amazed. All right, now amazed is an adjective, and when you feel this way, when you feel amazed, you feel great surprise or wonder about something. So maybe if you're watching these dancers, maybe they're doing such a cool dance or such a surprising dance that you feel amazed. Here's an example sentence: The children looked amazed when the jets flew upside down in the sky. All right, so amazed 就是有使什么什么惊艳的意思，通常是使人嘛，我们会感受到。所以 as the verb, you can say his performance amazed me. 他的表演让我好惊艳哦。那我们还有另外一个词，常常听到就是 amazing。好，所以 when something is amazing, it is impressive or excellent. For example, you can say modern technology is amazing, isn't it? So, 现代的科技是很惊人的，不是吗 ？Okay, well, we move on to the next sentence, which gives another description of something you might see at a festival. It says, "Nearby, a man juggles balls of fire." And a singer's beautiful song can be heard. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. So we see that "juggle" this word is used to show tricks. So in our sentence, we see a man juggles balls of fire, which is juggling balls of fire. So we see a man juggles balls of fire, which is juggling balls of fire. So we see a man juggles balls of fire, which is juggling balls of fire. So we see a man juggles balls of fire, which is juggling balls of fire. So we see a man juggles balls of fire, which is juggling balls of fire. All right, let's move on. So we've got three different kinds of things that you might see, and here's where you're going to see them. The article says these acts are all part of an exciting fringe festival. Okay, so fringe 这个字呢，其实英文里面就是有边缘或者是有流苏啊，或者是碎碎状物的意思。那在这边，其实在英国，很多人都会把刘海说成是 fringe。不过 in America, we say bands, right? Um, it's more just like、um, yeah. I have my bangs cut. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. For your for、fringe. your hair, you say、mm-hmm. in in America you say bangs, and yeah, in the UK you say fringe. Yeah,、mm-hmm. 所以就是有刘海的意思，不过是在英式英国人比较常用。对，那在这边就是有边缘或者是有碎状物的意思。All right. Well, let's find out more about fringe festivals. Here it says, today these special arts festivals take place all over the world. The first fringe festival was held in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1947. 对，所以最早的一岁节就是在爱丁堡举行的。那那个时候是一九四七年。好，那我们现在来看一下英文练功房的部分。我们来讲一下 hold, take place, 跟 happen， 还有 occur 这四个字。所以，我们先来看一下 hold 跟 take place 这两个字哦。这两个字通常是用在事先安排好，然后发生的事情。中文的翻译有举行的意思，不过他们用法不一样。像 h o l d 这个字 hold 使用的被动语态的时候呢，我们的主词是事物；那使用主动语态的时候，主词就是人。不过 take place 是不及物。助动词哦，是不能接受词的，我们只能用主动语态，然后主词就是事物。那我们就来看几个句子来了解一下。Amanda's wedding will take place next month. 好，那这个你看一下 ，take place 它是主动式，然后它的主词是事物。And the sentence too, Aaron, can you do? Mm-hmm. The next sentence: Amanda's wedding will be held next month. Yes.、Yeah, so、right here, we use the 被动语态。那 Amanda's wedding 就是事物。All、right, 那 happen 跟 occur 这两个字呢，都是用在没有安排或者是偶然发生的事，用法跟 take place 一样。For example, we can say, When did this occur? And when did, And this... When did this happen? Okay, 就是哎，这个时候这个事情是什么时候发生的、啊？那 occur 跟 happen 跟 take place 用法都差不多。Okay, so. We are going to learn more about the very first Fringe Festival. We see in the article here it says that year eight theater companies showed up uninvited to the Edinburgh International Festival. Okay, so the word company here refers to a group of actors, singers, or dancers that perform together. Is 剧团的意思。这边不是公司哦，是剧团。That's right. Okay, now. There's something we we did see that they were uninvited here. So, because of that, here in the article it says, however, because the companies weren't part of the official program, they were turned away.
Now we use this phrase "turn away" when you don't allow someone to enter a place or take part in an event. Now this could be because the the people don't have a ticket, or they weren't invited, like the companies here, or maybe because the event is full. For example. Now, as an example, I might say, "I was turned away from the restaurant because there were no empty tables available." Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay, so because these these tour have not been in the broadcast program, so they were turned away. So, Aaron, what did they do next? Okay, well, it says here, therefore, they decided to perform near the formal venue independently. Now here we use the adjective formal, and we described a venue, the formal venue. Now formal here describes something that is official or public. Here we're saying that some of the theaters or other places are official. Now that means everyone who is officially part of the event can perform there. But if they perform somewhere else, that place is not a formal venue because it is not official. Here's another example. The CEO has made a formal announcement that he will be retiring next year. All right, so formal 就是正式的意思，就是 official 的意思。那这个 venue 指的是场所，所以文章中的句子的意思就是说呢，他们决定在正式场所，或称官方场所的附近表演哦。Okay, so we'll take a look at the sentence. They have offered me the job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered me this job, but I don't yet have a formal contract. They have offered Now here we're saying that the fringe performers put on a show without the help or support of the official festival. Now, as another example, we could say, "For this project, I want you to work independently instead of in groups." Now that we see ly at the end of this word, we know that this is an adverb since independent is an adjective. So this word is a verb, so it has an independent meaning. It is from the word independent. So in our article, it says, "Therefore, they decided to perform near the formal venue independently." This sentence means that they decided to perform near the formal venue independently. This sentence means that they decided to perform near the formal venue independently. So we talked about the adverb adjective, and what about the noun? We've seen it before, right?、Mm -hmm. It's Independence. So you take up the T and add C E to the end. And as usual, we'll take a look at another sentence here. You can say most elderly people prefer to live independently if they can. 这大多数的老人呢、啊、喜欢自己生活，如果他们有能力的话。Or you can also say, How long has your country been independent? 你的国家独立多久了 ？Great. Okay. Well. We've got these eight companies. They're kind of performing near the event, but they're not part of the event. But here it says kind of what happened over the years. It says year after year, more small companies joined them until the Edinburgh Fringe Society was formed in 1958. Okay, so. We said something here. We said the Edinburgh Fringe Society was formed. Form is a verb here, and when an organization, company, or a business, or any other thing like that forms, it is set up or established. It's kind of like saying it was started for the first time. For example, we could say the World Health Organization was formed in 1948. Okay, so form 就是有形成、组成的意思哦。It's used as a, as a verb in our article here. 所以越来越多的小剧团加入了，然后就形成了 Edinburgh Fringe Society. 所以这边我们就用了被动语态哦。Was formed, be 动词加上 past participle. 所以 as a verb, you can say once a bad habit is formed, it is really hard to get rid of it. 一旦形成坏习惯，就很难摆脱它了。那这个字其实还有其他意思。当名词的时候有表格的意思哦，所以你也可以说 ，You need to fill out the job application form. 你必须要填写这份工作申请表。Okay, so we've got this society now that's kind of organizing this fringe festival every year, and it says here since then, fringe festivals have only become more and more popular. 
And that's not all. It says here they usually include all sorts of shows, ranging from poetry readings to short plays. Now here we use the verb include, and when you include something or somebody, you make that thing or person. Part of a larger group of things. Now here, lots of things are included. These shows, so they're all part of one big group or the festival. Here's an example. Let's include these chocolate snacks in the kids' lunches today. Ah,、well, the kids are going to be happy.、Mm -hmm. Okay, 就是把巧克力就是包括在这些小孩子的午餐里面。Okay, 所以 French festival 是越来越受欢迎了。那我们就来看一下 include 这个字，它这边是动词哦。Include 就是有包括的意思。所以 French festivals 包括很多不同的表演，有吟诗秀啊，也有小短剧的表演。So here are some other sentences you might want to look at. So sentence one is lunch included in this price. 这个价钱有包括午餐吗？可能太贵了，所以你就这样问一下。Okay, 然后第二个句子哦 ，Everyone, including Jessica, was sitting around the table. 那意思就是每个人，包括 Jessica 在内，都围坐在桌旁。So we'll take a look at. All sorts of shows. What、mm. does it mean? Well, we use the phrase "all sorts of something." Here, we said all sorts of shows, and we use this phrase to say that we're talking about many different kinds of something. Now, here, the one thing we're talking about is shows, and we know that there are many different kinds of shows by saying "all sorts of something." Here's another example. There are all sorts of drinks on sale at this cafe, from coffee to iced juices. Now we also use the phrase "range from A to B" in that sentence, and we use this phrase to show that we are mentioning some of the things that we're talking about. But because there are so many, we can't mention them all. Now this phrase shows that there are more things that we haven't talked about besides the ones in the sentence. For example, we might say this store sells lots of items ranging from cleaning supplies to gym clothes. So all sorts of something 就是有各种的意思，各种什么东西。So as we mentioned, all sorts of shows ranging from 这个 ranging from 就是有从哪个范围到哪个范围的意思，通常是指一样事物涵盖的范围，就像刚刚 Aaron 老师说的一样。Okay, so let's find out more about these. These fringe festivals. By finishing off here with this sentence, it says, "Such events usually have three things in common: they're cutting edge, cheap to visit, and easily accessible to the public." Now we use the phrase "have something in common" in that sentence. So when you have something in common with a person, you have a similar interest or quality with that person. For example, two people who both like soccer can say they have soccer in common. Now, when two things have something in common, they have similar qualities. So these events, for example, all have three things that are similar to each other. So we can say they have these things. In common, here's another example. These new cars have something in common. They're both electric vehicles. So they have something in common, 就是跟某物有共同点的意思。那像刚 Aaron 老师提到，我们再来看一个句子 ：My boyfriend and I have a lot in common. 就是我男朋友和我有很多的共同点。All right. Now we also see this word "cutting edge." What does it mean? Well, "cutting edge" is an adjective that just means extremely modern and advanced. So it's sort of the best of the technology so far today. Okay, so it means the best of the technology so far today. So we can say "cutting edge design" is a very advanced design, or like the teacher said, "cutting edge technology," the most advanced technology. So besides being cutting edge, cheap to visit, and what? Well, they're also accessible. This adjective "accessible" means that something is easy to find or easy to get to. So a lot of people are able to go to these things because it is accessible. Okay, so it is a adjective. This word is often used with "to" in conjunction. So in our article, we said "easily accessible to the public" means that everyone can participate. 
Okay, great. But you know that's all the time we have to talk about fringe festivals today. But don't worry, we'll be back with a lot more information tomorrow. For now, stay tuned for our for you chat. We'll be right back. For you chat. Okay, today's for you chat question is: Do you enjoy visiting arts festivals, and why or why not? Well, I think I do because、mm-hmm. I think I can learn a lot from the festival,、mm-hmm. and it gives me inspiration to do things. Like、right. if I go home, I want to write songs, or I want to、mm-hmm. write an article. I want to do something, and maybe I'll be like, "Oh yeah, I saw that yesterday, or I、mm-hmm. saw that somewhere," and I can. Put that into my works, right? Hey, what about you, Aaron? Um, well, I do. I mean, I've always been someone who has enjoyed supporting art. I'm, I'm not particularly a very creative person myself. I'm more one of the people who, who helps the artists kind of do their things, and、okay. so I've actually. I've I've often worked behind the scenes in festivals and events like、mm-hmm. this, and so I sort of like supporting the artists and giving them the opportunity to kind of do these things because、okay. I think I think the arts are really important for education. Actually, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what type of art do you like the best?、Um, me, theater, definitely.、Okay. But I like all art. Yeah.、Oh. You know, just today, I was walking by a university and I saw some university students giving a small concert. And、mm-hmm. so、oh, wow. I like. I just sort of stopped in for five、mm-hmm. minutes and、yeah. listened to them play. So oh, yeah.、Okay. All right. Well, that's all the time we have to talk about、uh, fringe festivals. But we are going to say plenty more about them tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. But today we're going to say goodbye. All right. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Join the fun at fringe festivals. Dancers perform in the streets, and you feel amazed as you watch them from the crowd that has gathered. Nearby, a man juggles balls of fire, and a singer's beautiful song can be heard. These acts are all part of an exciting fringe festival. Today, these special arts festivals. Take place all over the world. The first Fringe Festival was held in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1947. That year, eight theatre companies showed up uninvited to the Edinburgh International Festival. However, because the companies weren't part of the official program, they were turned away. Therefore. They decided to perform near the formal venue independently. Year after year, more small companies joined them, until the Edinburgh Fringe Society was formed in 1958. Since then, fringe festivals have only become more and more popular. They usually include all sorts of shows, ranging from poetry readings to short plays. Such events usually have three things in common: they're cutting edge, cheap to visit, and easily accessible to the public. Vocabulary review. Perform. Katie is excited to perform in the school's talent show tomorrow. Amazed. Elijah was amazed by the magician's tricks. Formal. All the guests at the formal dinner party were wearing fancy clothes. Independently. That nation used to be controlled by the UK, but now its government rules independently. Form. This sports club was formed in the 1950s and has only grown since then. Include. Amy's meal included pork. Rice and some fresh vegetables.